What's up guys, another Vintage Genetics video right here aiming to bring back the golden era of bodybuilding. And I did chest today and specifically tried to focus on the stretch aspect of, of chest. And many, many people think that it's all about the contraction when trading chest and sure, always contract your packs when doing a chest workout, but don't forget that stretching will sometimes provide an even bigger growth for your chest, especially on regular presses like the bench press. A lot of people don't go all the way down, and I'm showing you the way that it should be done according to my experience. <clears throat> on the bench press, there is no need to try and contract or squeeze the chest. This is more about the stretch, so get a fairly wide grip. Let the bar come down with good form all the way to your chest. And also make sure to retract your scapula or your uh, shoulder blades so that you have a firm foundation from which to press from, which is very important. <clears throat> now the second exercise is a classic one. The guillotine bench press. Now the name guillotine stands for the execution device they used in medieval times to chop people's heads off. Hence why I let the bar come down high on my neck. So that's where the name comes from. And this provides a different kind of stretch on your chest. You feel it in the upper portion a lot. They used to do this in the old days a lot. Now I don't recommend doing heavy on this at all, especially when just starting out, your shoulders get involved a lot with this one as well. So do your best to not let your, your elbows flare out to minimize the stress on your shoulders. Uh, so if you have weak shoulders, you should really start with a very low weight on this one and very uh, a controlled range of motion for sure. But I think it is a great variation upon the bench press to involve those extra upper muscle fibers. Moving on to the hammer strength incline press. And usually I do this one close gripped, but since I want to emphasize the stretch during this workout, I grip the handles as wide as I can on this one. And it really does feel like a different exercise. You can come down further, enhancing the stretch, but you can still get a really nice contraction. And it actually is more difficult to do it this way than the standard version. And remember, the harder you make an exercise, the more effective it usually is. Of course, what we absolutely cannot forget in a stretch workout is the dumbbell flies. This is the best exercise for chest expansion there is. And this is an isolation exercise, so it's just your chest working here. And you should use a moderate weight and go down with the dumbbells as far as you can, really feeling your pack stretch so much that it burns. And then come up without squeezing too much, just go back down and stretch them out again. Another classic exercise that is proven to work. Next up, a rare exercise invented by Vince Gironda, a classic bodybuilder, is the Gironda dips. So instead of doing them with your legs under or behind you, you actually put your legs slightly in front of you. And this changes the angle put on your chest and it stretches the bottom chest out like no other exercise. Now this is Vince Gironda and obviously his chest is his best body part. So I've done this exercise a couple of times and from time to time I like to include it to mix it up. But be aware that you should first try this with a machine or a spotter because it's pretty heavy on the shoulders if you go too heavy right away. And now we're moving on to the famous classic golden era dumbbell pullovers. One of my absolute favorite exercises to creating a trademark classic look. And I'm talking about this exercise a lot, about the benefits it has, emphasizing the vacuum, create, creating a thicker chest and back and adding muscle up on the serratus. So right here is a picture at a Dutch bodybuilding event of me and the starting out brother and iron. And this picture pretty much showcases the effects of the dumbbell pullover. You can see the serratus 
these muscles attach to the lats, the vacuum in my stomach and the overall V taper this exercise helps create. So keep doing this and you will, little by little, see your physique turn more and more classic. And in my previous video I showed you my split and a lot of people asked why I didn't include a shoulder day. Now that's because I train side delts and rear delts separately. And on chest day I just do one exercise of side lateral raises and that is enough to keep my shoulders in proportion to the rest. I keep the volume on this exercise pretty high and always end with drop sets until failure and that alone to me ensures that my side delts keep up with the rest. I'm going to make a separate video about this, but generally when people get a shoulder injury, it's because they overwork their shoulders, especially the front delts. And you already train a lot of front delts during chest day. And if you then add another separate day for front delts, your rear delts will eventually get too weak in comparison to the front, which creates an imbalance. And this imbalance in turn could create injuries. But I'll go more in detail on this in another video. Now we move on to triceps and we start right off with a triple superset, filling up the entire triceps. So we begin with a tricep push down for the small head, turning the wrists outward at the bottom. And then we move over to the overhead rope extension and this targets the long head of the triceps more but you can also turn your wrists outward as you can see to still target the small head as well. And then after this one we finish off with a variation of both. Kind of the same motion as a skull crusher except you can once again move your wrists outwards to enhance that small head. And the small head creates a tricep thickness from the front so that's a weakness of mine so I like emphasizing on it a lot. We end off with my favorite tricep finisher, a classic exercise, again a superset of three different exercises. First starting with a French press variation, targeting the long head. And then after this one we do a close grip press for the medial head of the tricep which creates overall tricep development and then we finish off with a skull crusher variation which is a very heavy exercise and at the you know at that point you can really feel your triceps burn and then you know you're doing something right but anyway thanks for watching keep commenting sharing giving feedback what you want to see and sharing the videos the channel i appreciate your support a lot i really love the feedback i'm getting a lot more videos coming soon uh, you guys put in a lot of video ideas which I will make and will show you guys. And remember to stay golden.